Hello guys, this is your uncle Bigfish, and on this video I'm gonna teach you the most haram stuff you'll ever see in Black Desert Mobile Arenas. I'm gonna show you the five most broken classes that don't need absolute that needs absolutely no break to play. So obviously there will be really really uh, questionable classes. The first one being this Spirit Walker. And I'm gonna show you why this class is stupid and why you need absolutely no brain to play. Now, in order for something to be in this list, it needs to have absolutely zero mechanics. It needs to have absolutely zero, zero mechanics. It needs to have a huge punish with low punish windows. It needs to be playable without using a single brain cell. And it should win you games like at least 90% regardless of who you're against, even pros. And the first one is going to be the Spirit Walker. This class is absolutely broken. It's got a lot of bugs, which Spirit Walker players will be like, Oh, that's not, that's not a bug. That's completely intentional. That's completely intentional. Like, that's what probes want the class to do. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. So you have permanent super armor with zero cooldown. That's, yeah, that's completely intentional. I completely, I completely understand. Yeah. So that will be the first one. And this class has some deceptions. It's got iframe on a non sa skill. I'll show you what I mean. This is the first bug use. All right. Yep, this is completely, this is completely intentional, guys. Yep, this is completely, completely intentional. I, I, I completely agree. I completely understand. This is intentional. This is not a bug. All right. Okay. All right. Okay, bro. Okay, bro. All right. So for those Spirit Walker players, they're so. Oh, just not a bug. All right. Sure. 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 Guys. Sure. Sure. All right. This. Run away, cause we're. Cause why not? Bye bye, you're dead. All right. So, as you see there, this class don't need much bugs to actually be used properly. You don't need to use the bugs to win the game because the class's kit is already fucking broken. But if you use the bug, this class, this is just gonna be completely too easy. I would say. You can, yeah. I don't. Yeah. Bye bye. Yep, that's it, guys. Just spam your buttons. Just spam your buttons. You don't think class is stupid. It is how it is. But now we're gonna be using the bug. Hopefully, we find we're fighting a stronger class. Oh yeah, okay. We're fighting the strongest class. <laughs> it's a golden five two. So perfectly balanced stuff. We're gonna be using the bug. All right. Perfectly balanced. Yep, 100% balanced, guys. Super balanced. By the way, I will be teaching you how to set up the bug <laughs> for those that wants to um, learn this bug. Because obviously, uh, people are stupid. Probes are stupid. And uh, yeah, if I don't teach you guys this, then there will be those people they are destroying you guys in arenas and will be so afraid that you would find out the secret of how to actually set up the bug and i will teach you guys how to set up the bug here all right let me go back inside my room and i will show you how to set up the bug now this bug is actually quite simple to uh to actually set up i will not i will not actually try to win this one i'll just Okay, this guy actually left. He quit because he can't handle the, he he can't handle the bug. This berserker, guys, a uh, a golden five berserker just quit because he got yeah he just don't want he he just don't want any, any of this. Right, so
Now, as you see there, you, you can just use Phoenix wings. Perfectly balanced. Perfectly balanced. That's how you set up the bug. If you guys don't know how to set up the bug, I'll just show you outside so you can see how to set up the bug. Now, what you're gonna do is pretty simple. Obviously in the arenas, you can just trade your skills and stuff. But how do you how do you actually abuse the bug and how do you actually set up for the bug? I'll show you here on skill practice, just so it's easy for you to understand and see from a controlled area. So, how does the bug work? It's gonna be this button over here, right on top of my lock button. There you go. When I use this, I will have super armor, as you can see there. Now, this is gonna be the setup of what you will be seeing the moment you enter the arena. So you have the left button and the right button. You wanna press the light button, like so. And this is how you set, set everything up. If you press the button now, you will get a super armor. So if you want to set it up so that you can always cast this non-stop, you can always do this, you can, you can do this rotation instead. You're going to press this button, and the moment you count in your brain, one, two, the moment the number two comes out, you're going to use Phoenix Wings, I mean uh, the Dragon Fang, and then you're going to use Phoenix Wings. And while you're casting the Phoenix Wings, you want to cast your button again. And by the time Phoenix Wings ends, you will have the button ready to be pressed again, like so. And in the enemy's eyes, because you're so small, they can't really see if you're CC'd or not. So they will just cast their non-super armor skill, thinking they land a combo. And you can just press your Dragon Fang and just CC them, because they're literally thinking that you're on that you're CC'd, but you're not. And yeah, you can just set it up. And the way you will set it up is like this. You're gonna cast this Phoenix Wings, and you're gonna use a second and you can cast it again and you can cast it all this again you're gonna cast this again you're gonna cast this again and you basically have permanent super armor you can always cast this by the way with different with different methods you can actually run away using this and cast it and you can cancel the wind up of the you can so when you're actually vulnerable to getting CC'd when you're trying to set up for the wolf again. So you, when, the moment you, you need to put the, the wolf back inside you or de-summon the wolf, you can actually get CC'd. So what you want to do is, you want to cast it pretty far away, like say here. You want to cast it and then you want to cancel that, that cast with Phoenix Wings. So it, it, it only lasts for 0.5 seconds. So the window of punish is only 0.5 seconds because your Phoenix Wings will cancel the animation of her bringing the summon back. So now you can have you have, have everything pretty much pretty set up and you can just use this again and you can use Phoenix Wings again and then you're gonna use your your D summon and you're gonna use the Phoenix Wings again and you can you can do this indefinitely. You can stall out the whole the whole duration of the summon just so you can get the cooldown of Phoenix Wings back up. So this was the reason why Spirit Walker is fucking broken, and don't listen to any of these Spirit Walker players that are defending their class, because anyone with a brain will, will be able to know just how broken this is, like how this is so abusable in the arenas. Um, yeah, don't, don't don't trust them, just trust your Uncle Big Fish. I'm here stating facts and just common sense that those people clearly lack. Next, we'll be talking about the Igneous. Now this one needs no further introduction, this class is absolutely broken. It needs absolutely no brain to play. You can literally play, I've already had the, the video where I played this class with two fingers. Uh, completely stupid. But it is viable. It is a pretty viable class of just playing it like an idiot. I haven't played this class in like two months or so. But I'm pretty sure I will not have any problems. Nice, so we got desynced. All right. And voila. The guy's dead. Perfectly balanced. This is some perfectly balanced stuff, guys. Very, very balanced. But it is how it is. And 
yeah, it doesn't get any simpler than that. And how how do we make this look even more simple? Um, there are ways, obviously. You can pretty much just go this rotation. You can go right the waves into overdrive into one dodge and repeat. Or if you have absolutely zero self worth and you, you have no dignity whatsoever, you can always grab open, do nothing, repeat till the enemy dies. Because literally every time your overdrive clips, enemy is on a count on a clock because they got burnt. And you always heal from overdrive. So why not? It's got perfect coverage. It's got it's it's a pretty perfect class. There's not really anything wrong with this class. It's, it, it's just broken. Like so. Pete. And that's all you need to do. And he's dead. Very simple as fuck, needs absolutely no brain to play, very stupid class for stupid people. Created for stupid people. Because obviously anyone who plays this class and not get bored in the first five minutes is a complete lunatic. Um, well, this is Igneous. All you need to do is just not fuck up. That's, that's pretty simple, given that you only have two buttons to press. Um, yeah, that's literally what Igneous does. And if you want to do my long ass combo with this class, you do need to be at least point blank range. If you're not on point blank range, it's not going to work. Versus classes that slow you down like Paladin, you don't really need to press anything too much, I would say. All you need to do is not be stupid. I got desynced, but that's fine. This class does have some issues once your mana is fucked, so... Okay, resistance. My dodge got cancelled, but that's fine. I have no idea what the fuck happened. I don't know if any of you can see that. This is pretty much just completely mind fucked. He was teleporting everywhere. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. We're gonna do this thing again. And I'm gonna show you here how to exactly do that. This is actually a bit frustrating given that there's just too much. Let's go. Let's do this. And you can just leave them to die. Honestly. There you go. You die from the burn. That is pretty much how you play Igneous. If you want to go completely balls like you can just grab open, repeat. Unfortunately, sometimes if you're unlucky, you're just unlucky. Like you see there, decent happens. Um, resist. Like three fucking resists. That's... Not nice. Alright, there we go. This is a fire build. Resist again. And you can always do this for a cool last finish. He's dead. Soon. Bye bye. And that's Ignis. Very, very simple to play. Needs absolutely no brain to play whatsoever. You can get fucked and still go on. Because this class is tanky, it does a lot of damage, super sustained, super everything. There's not really any ways that you can go around this.
All right. And that's how you do my long combo. My evasion got cancelled, but that's fine. Because why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we be fine? This is also fine. It's not gonna do too much damage. Bye bye. You are dead, son. Bye bye. Needs absolutely no no brain to play, as you can see there. I am not even using the analog. I don't know if any of you realize that, but it is how it is. <laughs> This is a fucking broken class made for failures. Um, well, I'll just make this even more obvious that I'm not using my analog, just so for those that don't see that, we'll get to see it now. <clears throat> Alright. And that's it. <laughs> that's literally it. We'll do that thing maybe one more time, just so I can uh, make things a lot more clearer. We're probably gonna fight someone slightly more gritty, yeah? The white helmet isn't exactly very convincing. Um, we'll do that one again, just so, just so we can. Alright. Fortunately, this is getting a bit difficult, because we're not really meeting any Gritty players keep on meeting this white helmet. We'll probably wait a bit just so he can get a match first and then we fine. Alright. Okay, Arena's pretty dead. I guess everyone's getting sick of all the desync. <laughs> it, it happens. Desync sucks. Alright, now against this Draconia. This is not supposed to be a good matchup, but we can make it good. Why? Because Ignis is fucking broken. Literally zero brain cells required. And that's it, guys. <laughs> that's it. That's Igneous. Needs no brain to play. At all. You know what? Since we're getting bored, I'm only going to be using two skills, alright? Two skills. That's all I'm going to use, alright? Let's go. Okay. Alright. Literally two skill gaming. And he, I think he's dead from the burn. So I forgot. I forgot that he's got purge. But that's fine. As you can see there. Two skill gaming, literally. No no analog. Only two skills, and that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's Igneous Gaming, guys. Igneous Gaming. This is not exactly a good matchup either. That's it, guys. My bad. And that's it. I still got four evasion for those that didn't realize. Four evasion, guys. <laughs> All right. So I think that's about it for the Zygnus. We'll skip it and we'll go. To, we'll go on to the next class. The next one will be one of your yours truly's favorite. This is gonna be a very simple one. It's gonna be a tits one this time. This is gonna be Mystic. <laughs> 
Now this guy is also absolutely broken and he's absolutely no brain to play. Uh, you can play this thing with three with three skills and it'll probably be just fine. But I will just show you just the sheer power of this one thick ass dragon girl. Now all you need to do is just spam fury dive. And that's it. <laughs> that's it, guys. That, that's literally it. That's it. That's Mystic Gaming. A lot of you might say, oh, this does not work competitively. Well, competitively, you are better off using a Mystic than using some Mumbo Jumbo. So that's not exactly accurate either. You want to see the super long combo? This is how you do it. And I almost one shot at the bitch. That's you. That's it. That's it, guys. That's that. That. That's it. That's it. <laughs> oh my god! All right. Um, that was all fun and games, but uh, yeah, that is Mystic Gaming. We haven't used Grab Open to this for those that are curious. By the way, if you want to use your grab opening, the best uh, skills to use after the grab open will be Flurry of Pain, one kick, into Fury Dive. That'll be the fastest one. Or depending on where your Perseverance passive is at. This is perfectly fine. Stand up, just use Dragon Punch, and Fear Death again, and they're dead. Imagine a Berserker with less mobility, with less, uh, with less desync, but just equally same power. That is pretty much Mystic. Berserker, but slower. And less, I would say less broken. That's Mystic. But is it still broken? Well, it's number three on this list for a fucking reason, guys. As you can see there, needs absolutely no brain cells to play. Very, very strong. Very, very broken. I'm already in a match. Alright, let's fucking leave. The room got bugged. Alright, let's get going. Yeah, that's pretty much playing mystic I guess and if you have no dignity whatsoever you can always 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 just grab open and repeat so your enemy eventually dies I have no idea what the fuck just happened but okay I don't care, I'm not even using my analog, for those that are wondering as well. I haven't used my analog. By the way, nice Zumba. Just grab open, cause why not? Cause we're 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 filthy fucks and yep, that's it guys. Just like that very easy and now we are actually moving towards number two and this is gonna be the next class because mystic isn't very interesting next one will be the titan now obviously everyone knew this was that this was coming but i want to highlight for those that don't know about this or at least those who are newer to my channel this is a broken ass class with absolutely zero win condition and the reason for that is, well, it's going to be this skill. The skill that I'm talking about is Fearsome Tyrant. And what this does is, this thing heals 1.5% of your health and your allies per hit. Now, how much hits does this skill have? Well, 6. We have 6 times 1.5. That's 9%. But then you have your passive, and your passive gives you, as you can see here, health recovery plus 15%. So you gain 15% more HP recovery. 
This class also gets healing from evasion, healing per second, healing when using skills, and amplified healing when using skills, and for Serret as well, making this class completely unkillable, unless you, well, try to play nice, which I definitely won't. Not, not, not for this video, but you guys get the point. This is literally all you're gonna do. I'm gonna play as stupid as possible, just, just to show you that I can. As you can see there, I have completely no self-worth whatsoever. And that's it guys, just press your buttons and just see your HP, your health bar will never go down. Because it's Titan we're talking about here. And dodge, use this again, dodge one more time, and does not really matter. And that's it. That's Titan Gaming for you guys. Is this class practical? Yes, as you can see there, it's completely unkillable. Um, just for the sake of this context, I will actually uh, show you what it looks like. I will actually let myself get CC'd here, full combo if you, if I have to. I'll just press this thing once, and I'll just stand here and wait until he just full combos me. I will not even try to... Yeah, I'll just eat all this. I don't, I don't really care. Alright, we get comboed again. Twice. Alright, nice. Perfect. Right, go and enjoy your life, sir. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna go in like so, and yada yada yada. Bam! I'm gonna do this and this, and I'm just gonna use this one more time. And now we're going to run away, because the power of this class starts the moment you start running away. What we're gonna be doing after we run away is we're gonna be casting our fearsome tyrant like so. And now we're gonna go back to running away. And we're going to cast Fearsome Tyrant whenever possible. There's no way this person can chase us. This is not going to kill. And as you can see there, our health is just replenishing itself. And if I want to make this game much shorter, I can just honestly just use Fearsome Tyrant there. Yeah, I can use it here. And I can run away again, because why not? Stall everything again. Prison Tyrant again, and now our HP is almost half. Run away again, run away some more. Cast again, it doesn't really matter. It's not gonna do much. As you can see there, we've already, re we've already replenished so much health. To the point where it just doesn't matter anymore. He can he can try to do whatever he wants. It, 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 it doesn't really matter, honestly. I'm gonna use this, and then we can run away and scream again, and let the timer do all the job for us. Cause why not? And that's it. That's Titan Gaming. Just eat CC, eat CC, getting comboed, getting comboed, getting comboed, getting traded. But then the health just doesn't go down. We'll do that one more time. This time I'll actually use my brain a little bit. Because it gets pretty boring if you don't. Alright. It is still boring if you do, but you guys get my point. Alright, so on this one, here's what we're going to do. Okay, we're going to use this. We're going to stand here and let ourselves get comboed. Just call it. Just go, 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 go and combo me. Do whatever you want. I don't care. All right, perfect. Nice. Okay, now. I pressed the wrong button there. That's my fault. That's pretty stupid, honestly. I think I'm dead here. Did he fuck up? Actually, he did. Alright, so now... Okay... Be fucked up, guys. Now we can run away... Now we 
can cast this thing again and as you can see there our health is just slowly being replenished and we just never die cuz why would we now we can run away dodge once go to the other side run cast the screaming skill and just replenish all the health we want cuz why not and this guy just grabbing air cuz he's getting desperate not knowing what to do we can just grab open whenever we want we're not we're not dead here Actually, we might be, because our passive run ran out. Actually, we died. <laughs> that is completely my fault. That was very preventable. I, I could have prevented that at any point. But I guess sometimes when you underestimate people, that just happens. But you guys, you guys get my point. <laughs> like, this class takes so long to kill. We'll do that one more time. Go and CC me. Go, go, go. Go, go give me a best shot. We're not we're not even gonna use our passive here. Which inherently uh, reduces damage. We're not gonna do any, any of that. Because why, why should we? Now we grab him and we just do this. And just be stupid. Scream again. Get some HP back. This all the way here, and that's about it, guys. And that's Titan Gaming, pretty much. Now imagine for a second if we're not doing any of this stupid shenanigans, and we're 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 just full on trying to win. None of this will ever happen, because <laughs> apparently, um. Yeah, this Titan has like three health bars. So, uh, what can you do? It's just too strong, in my opinion. This class is too strong. At least the sustain side. For a class to have this much sustain, usually there needs to be a lot of drawback, as in low damage or slow or having something else. But no, this class have everything. It's got damage. It's got the sustain, it's got the tankiness, so now you have like a crusader that deals like the same damage as a fucking knight. Um, yeah, this is pretty much it, I would say. And if he's against a class like Legatus with no damage, like you can see here, I'll just I'll just stand here and do nothing. Look at how much damage this Legatus is doing. Look at that. Look at that pathetic amount of damage. Look, look at that. Look at that. Alright? Screen once. And you can spam more skills. Now we have our passive back up. And now we're just gonna do nothing again. And we'll watch how long he wants to hit us until we actually start taking damage for sure. As you can see, this is pretty damn hilarious. Just how long this guy needs to. Yeah, we're not exactly in any danger whatsoever. And we're just gonna do nothing, again. And this guy's just confused, he, he just don't know what to do. We can grab him. Again, scream again, and now our health is wherever we left it at. As you can see there, this thing is just unkillable. <laughs> and as you can see there, our health is still very, very high. Because this is balanced. <laughs> <laughs> this is very balanced, and you can do this when you're against a class with low damage, like Legatus. Uh, this is pretty, uh, yeah, this is basically it. Hello. Yeshu. Now, uh... 
the last class is pretty obvious is gonna be the berserker and just for this one I want to give you guys um, yeah this class is just just hands down broken it's just so broken it's so broken in fact that yeah it just dumpsters honestly I'll show you here what I mean look at this all right look at the amount of damage that I'm, that I'm, that I'm taking I'm not even using my brain here, I'm just casting bullshit, honestly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just confused. I'm very, very confused. Um, we'll, 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 we'll find a, a different person, because... It's a, it's a white helmet. And it's a sage, so it's not very convincing. We'll find something that will convince you. Alright, so another Berserker, which is not a good example whatsoever. But we'll we'll just continue with this. Hello. There you go. That's Berserker Gaming, guys. <laughs> Two swipes, and that's it. <laughs> that's it, guys. That's it. That's Berserker Gaming. And that's on another Berserker. So imagine what it would look like on something that's soft. Or something that's mushy with no tits. It's gonna look very, very funny. Alright, so this is gonna be a Lancer. This is actually one of the better counters for this Berserker. However, it's not exactly a counter either. It's just... There, I guess. Oh, it's not a berserker, it's a fucking paladin. Bye bye. That's berserker gaming, guys. Um, yeah, it desyncs people, so. Whatever you see here doesn't look like like this in their screen. They're probably like, How the fuck is somebody getting CC'd? How am I getting CC'd by that? I cast my skills. Yes, you would be right. But because this class has such high desync powers, like desync works for you 24-7, it happens. Hello? It's another Berserker. As you can see there, this place is pretty much infested by Berserkers. Sorry, there's something on my eye. And that's it, guys. Two swipes and the game's over. That's fucking Berserker. You don't even need to combo. You just need to trade. Just trade and trade and trade and trade and trade. Cast skills and trade. Cast skills and trade. That's it. That's Berserker Gaming. The desync and the sheer brokenness, the sheer unfairness of this class's power will just win you battles automatically. And that is because this class is for faggots. This class is made for fags. And... Those Berserker players are going to tell you otherwise. Oh no, it's not that broken. Oh, it's not that broken. Oh no, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, and you will find some that are not as biased, but you, the majority of them will be biased because Berserker players are sweaty people that thinks that, oh shit, I played this class for so long, I'm not gonna let people trash talk this class, whatsoever. Even though they know that they're probably there's probably a good reason to why that is the case. I'm not even using my analog here. This is Berserker Gaming, guys. That's it. <laughs> this is the strongest class for noobs. This is a class for dummies. And uh, has it always been this way? No. I think for quite some time, Berserker was a pretty good class, but that's about it. And then this buff arrived, and now he's... Well, whatever you see now, I guess. Alright.
I cast my evasion there, but... Alas, it doesn't matter, because this class of huge, huge, huge resist, and it slows people down too, so, uh, yep. Now, let's explain why Berserker is fucking broken, just to make things a lot easier for you guys to understand. Alright, so, now, if you see here, now, you see here, I got the skills all the way up to level 9. Well, we can do better, we can do better. So, we're just gonna use all the skill books right here, and get it all the way to level 10. So, we got an accurate... One. All right, so now we got all level 10s here. Now, I just want to show you what I'm talking about. So now you have this class, Berserker. And this class have, ooh, guess what? Vengeful Wrath, 100 attack for 30 seconds. Holy fucking shit, 100 attack. Let's see what other classes have from their buff. Hmm, okay. Um. Let's look at Guardian. How much how much stats does this thing get from its buff skill? Oh, it's 50. All right, it's 50. But, but Guardian is just crap, right? So m maybe it's just Guardian that sucks. What about other other classes? Maybe other classes got something higher. Okay, uh, let's check this one. Oh, this is 50 DP. All right, all right, all right. So it's 50. Um, let's check Buccaneer. Buccaneer is super broken, right? Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to check this one. Uh, Buccaneer. How much does it get? Oh, 50! Oh, okay. And guess what? Everything in this fucking game gets 50. But not uh Not Zerg. He gets 100. Because that's fair. That's perfectly balanced. That's 100. Yeah. 100 AP for 30 seconds. Heals 2000 HP. Hmm. Do we really need to check that one too? Obviously, no. So, this class by default is, has got the best passive in the game, plus the best fucking buff skill. Now, let's check the passive. What does this do? Oh, this thing gives you 20% damage reduction. Holy shit, so this guy's a super tanky. All right, it's super tanky. It gets PvP damage dealt, so it hits very hard. But, nuh uh, after you get unleashed, you get. Spell Amp, another 10%. And have you ever seen in this game something with PvP damage dealt and Spell Amp? These two are separate calculations. So, the it's not gonna be 20%. It's actually more. So for those that are thinking, oh, that's like 20%, right? No, it's not 20%. It's more. Because the way this ca is calculated is you first calculate the damage with the PvP damage dealt, and then, I mean, with the Spell Amp first, and then it will be the final damage will be calculated again with the PvP damage dealt, which makes it more. So that is literally just by stats alone. That this class is super broken just by stats alone. Now, what else makes this class broken? Well, this is the skill with two second cooldown, gonna be off kilter. This thing has pretty good damage, 1000, it's almost 1.5k, 2 second cooldown, this thing gains rage per hit, and then you have Havoc Thrust, which also gains rage per hit. This thing's very fast, with only 5 second cooldown, 2 hits, 5 second cooldown, you can stall it, you can linger it, do whatever you want, you can change directions, it doesn't matter. It's very fast, and it has super super high range as well, deceptive range, because the, the, the CC frame is on the light, not on the sword. Next will be Reckoning. This thing has 7 second cooldown, but is it? Is it 7 second cooldown? Hmm. No. Because if you see here on Unleash... Apply Eventual Wrath and Knockdown. Cooldown of all skills minus 0 0.3 seconds upon use. And guess what? When you use this off kilter, you will actually reduce cooldown of all your skills by 0 0.3 seconds. Which means that you can use any other skill like Havoc Thrust, Crushing Falcon, Richard's Ranch, Triumph, whatever. You can use any skill in this entire arsenal. And each of them will reduce the cooldown of any other skills by 0 0.3 seconds, including itself. So, how much is the actual cooldown of Reckoning? Well, if you hold the skill, the animation of the hold lasts for 1 second, 1.2 seconds. How long does the skill last? About 0 0.5 seconds. So the skill have about 1.5 second of animation plus skill use. 1.7 seconds to be precise. And now it's got 7 second cooldown. So it's already at somewhere around 5.3 seconds. That's the effective cooldown. But then you reduce the cooldown further by casting other skills. And how many skills are you casting 
usually before you cast Reckoning again, roughly about 5, because after you cast Reckoning, usually what you will do is you will use your Havoc and then off-kilter away, and then Berserker charge, and then off-kilter again, and Vicious Rant, and then you will, get, you will go Havoc again, Reckoning, so 5 skills. So 5 times 0.3, that is pretty much going to be 1.5 seconds. So 1.5 seconds plus 1.7 seconds, that is 3.2 seconds, and the cooldown of this Reckoning will be reduced by 3.2 seconds, which will be somewhere around 4.8 seconds. No, That's, that, that couldn't be right, because it's not. It's actually only 3.8 seconds. That is the effective cooldown of the skill. 3.8 seconds, guys. Yeah, it's true. Does it suck? Well, let me just use my buff. Let me get my buff first. Alright, so now. There you go. That's the cooldown of Reckoning, guys. About 3.8 seconds. Almost 4 seconds. That's it. <laughs> That's the effective cooldown of this Reckoning. And how much damage does it actually do? Well, let's just calculate here real quick. Alright, now. It's gonna be pretty simple. It's not too difficult to understand. You have... Let's check how much this thing does. Alright, so. This thing has... Mm, let's see. If I recall correctly, this thing has 6 hits, but we'll just account to this one. So, base is gonna be 699, I'll call it 700, 700 times 4, that's gonna be 2.8k, but then you have flow of tosses. this thing gains 100 and... No, 200%, 200%, so you can multiply this by 2, that's gonna give you 5.6k% percent damage. 5.6k% damage, guys. That's the base power of the skill. 5,600% base power. This is going to be the base power of this skill. Now, imagine if this thing crits. So, you can add that by another 2.15. So, that's going to be 12,040. That's if it crits. Now, let's see how much branches... How much does branches do into that calculation? Branches gives you... Well, currently I have 60. 60 A hit. So it's going to give you another 60%, so that's going to be 19,264. And then now you're going to multiply this by 10%, which will be your Unleash. This is going to be the first one, being the Spell M, 10%. And then after this, you're going to add another 10% on top as the final damage calculation from the PvP damage dealt passive. This is going to give you a 23,309 percent damage if it crits on every hit this is the final calculation however this is not the final damage because what is the final damage the final damage will be calculated if you get an a hit proc and we don't need to count that because this is bad enough already now imagine something dealing something like this let's just say you don't crit on every hit say you crit only once out of those four hits so out of four hits you only crit once let's do the calculation again we can just decrease that. Now, so 5600, we can multiply this by another 600 plus 60% plus crit. So the critical hit for this one will be 700 plus 700 times 2.15. 1.5. So, this is going to be 5600 plus 1500 plus another uh, 50, uh, 60% because we got 60% branches. This is going to deal somewhere around 17,227 damage, guys. Perfectly fair on a 3.8 second cooldown skill, dealing that much damage. Just for, just for reference, for you guys that don't know, you have 40,000 HP in arenas. 40,000 means that this thing, if it crits, you don't, you don't need an A hit proc, you just need it to crit. If it crits on every single hit, it will easily take about half the enemy's health. This is also, this is having calculated with DP increase and attack 
drops, obviously. However, if, say, you both have nothing, this is the kind of damage that you'll be dealing. It's very unfair. So, it's min damage. The worst, worst damage that it will deal will be 5600 plus 60% plus 10% plus 10%. Your the worst amount of damage you will do with this with this skill will be ten thousand point eight, ten point eight k. So ten thousand eight hundred forty one that percent damage. That is the least. That is the minimum roll because this means that there's no branches, there's no, a uh, there's no a hip procs, there is no crits, and it's gonna deal like ten thousand eight hundred forty one percent damage. So this is gonna deal at least a fourth of the enemy's health, given that nothing procs. So imagine for a second that something like this happens. It means you're a class with no win condition, you can just trade and win, trade and win, trade and win. This is the reason why Berserker is very very strong, it's very very broken, it's completely nonsense, just how a class could become this strong. Yeah, that's basically Berserker gaming. So for those of you, it is no secret, it's not really a secret that... Yeah, this is the reason why everyone's using this class. Because this class is fucking broken, as you can see there. It's just broken, guys. It's just so broken. I'm kind of wondering to myself sometimes, why this is even allowed? What, what were they thinking when they were buffing this class? And that's it guys, that's Berserker Gaming. Alright, for those of you that enjoyed this video, I hope you guys had a good time watching this. I hope that you guys um, learned something new. And if you're stupid and you're a dummy, you can play any of these five classes. They will really, they will really jumpstart your arena prowess. You don't really need anything else. The reason why I don't list Raven and Buccaneer and all these into this list is because those classes do require some bits of skill to play. Especially classes like Buccaneer, classes like Kunoichi, those classes do need a lot of skill to play. However, the classes on this particular one will be the one that needs the least amount of skill. You don't need any lingers, you don't, you don't need anything, it's just plain ass, just, just spam. It's literally spam gaming. That is these five classes. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to give this video a like. And if you want to subscribe, you can you can do that. If you don't want to, it's fine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys again on the next one. This is your Uncle Big Fish, and have a nice day.